Okay, my take on marriage. Don't do it. Okay, wait, <laughs> before you skip me, let me qualify that really quickly. So the Bible says that he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing, right? And and it says that the woman or the wife is supposed to be a helpmeet, correct? Right. But I say, don't get married. Don't do it until you know your purpose and your calling in life. So if your wife is supposed to be your helpmeet, and you don't have a purpose or you don't have a calling, you don't know why you exist or what you're supposed to do in life. How are you supposed to actually get a wife that's going to help you if you don't know what direction you're supposed to take? I know a lot of guys, a lot of pastors, a lot of mentors who had to break up with their fiancés and divorce their wives because they were not the ones aligned for their purpose. So before you jump into something and jump into a relationship with someone, jump into a relationship with God and have him to go on and, and show you what your purpose and your calling is. So you won't have to go on and dump your wife or try to grit your teeth and bear throughout countless years of toxicity and unalignment because she's the wrong one or he's the wrong one. Wait on God and let him go on and choose your wife for you or your husband for you. Okay. Like. And remember, Adam didn't have a choice in who his wife was. He let God choose his wife. How about you let God choose your wife or let God choose your husband?